Okay, so someone asked me if I could make a video how to pre-solder your Golden Harvest V3. How to tell the difference between a Golden Harvest V2 and a V3 are these right here. So, <clears throat> these right here would determine whether this is a V3 or a V2. Okay? In a V2, you would see these pads. In a V3, you would see these added pads. So someone asks how to solder you know some people i got my solder at 480 uh some people tend to go too hard on a solder and can kind of overheat the board you got to let the board kind of cool down between solders so in this case uh we have to solder the connections so in this diagram in the diagram, what you will see is that these right here are your negative uh, for your NeoPixel, okay? The positive of your NeoPixel as well as other positives will be on the other side. Um, on the left side here, these three, is your power, your ground for your aux and power switch, and then your aux. Then this pad right here, let me see if you can see it. This pad right here is your data pad. And you got your speaker, your speaker, your positive, which will be in the in the production version will be your positive. And this one will be your negative ground. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to go in a motion outward for these NeoPixels. Okay. I'm not going to use these connections, so I'm not going to wire these connections, but you can actually solder these connections if you wish. For, for what I'm going to do, uh, my NeoPixel parallel and all that, I'm just going to kind of solder straight through. So what I like to do is I like to just lay it at the solder and pull it in. Okay. See? Nice and clean. Oops. Focus. Uh, focus, focus. Okay, so it's nice and clean. Let's do the other connections. I like to cover the whole brown uh, gold contact parts. All right, so also in between, uh, what you want to do in between, hold on, let me put this proper here. What you want to do is kind of let the board cool down because every time you, you, you apply your gun to your board, you're actually heating up your board. And that can mess up with a lot of components. You got to keep in mind all the other components around you. You don't want to do this drunk or, you know, tired or anything. Because you can easily go like that and take off, you know, an SND or chip or a resistor. All right. So in this case, right here, you got three, res three chips. You want to be careful with soldering that. Okay. And this is where your, your ground and power button go. Okay, here we go. Like I said, I like to make sure it covers my whole spot. All right, so here's another one. Again, boom, nice and clean. Uh, let's check, let's clean this one up. Okay, now I need these pads here, so let's switch over. Now, again, I only like to solder the pads that I need. So, this one, again, is going to be the data. Let me use this here. This one right here is your data for your new pixel. Okay, then you got speaker, speaker. Then you got positive, negative. Negative is always towards the corner of the board. All right. Okay, let's go in there and... I need this one so let's go in let me see if I can do it where you guys can see it okay put some heat to the pad boom nice and easy okay so I don't need this pad here right now because I'm not doing anything with it okay the next one is going to be my speakers so apply 
There you go. And again, like I said, I like to cover my my gold contacts. Let's finish up. Okay. Now, I'm not using the positive on this one because this is a production board we're working on for beta. But you will highlight that one. Uh, solder that one. All right. So, there's a resistor here. So, I want to be careful. But I need this contact. So, let's go in there. Okay. There you go. Like I said, I'm just very anal about no red contacts. All right, so there you go. Nice and easy for the connections that I'm going to require. Uh, now we want to go over to the other side because I have to do a connection on that side. Always feel your board. If it feels hot, then you need to let it cool down a little bit. In this case, the board is not hot. Also, very important. Oops, I dropped it very important you do not want to solder sorry you do not want to solder with the sd card inside okay all right now back here you can actually do different tabs if you're going to do uh uh some uh power switches over the top for those ob1s but uh i did a little something different on my ob1 so Okay, and in this case, I need, let me look at my wiring, one, two, three from the top, the third one from the top, so my ground on this board, like I said, it's not going to be for your, for the rep, for the production boards, this is the beta, but my ground is going to be this one, so I need to solder on that one there, All right, so what we're going to do, is let's clean up first our tip because you do not want too much solder on your tip when you're going into these very 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 tiny uh, spots and the purpose for that is you don't want solder everywhere so in this case we're gonna apply just a little bit of solder here. So, like I said, heat up the pad. Some people like to scuff it a little bit. I like to heat it up. And boom, oops. Boom, that's all you need. Little, little bit of solder, nothing crazy, nothing, you know, extravagant, just that little one spot. So, there you go. A nice clean let me see if I can get it in here see not too much solder nice and clean okay if you want if I wanted to make some connections for accents and so forth that it's gonna have you will want to connect up here if you want to connect the OLED it would be up here as well um, and the manual will actually describe all that for you but for right now, basically what I needed it for um, is basically, again, going over it. Oh, I forgot to do something. Hold on. Thank you for holding with me. In here, you know what? Let's put the board lower. In here, you want to bridge all three. To gain the full extent of the power. Now, what I like to do, and I'll pull one out right now, is I like to use resistor legs. Let me see if you can see it. Resistor legs. Okay? So, in this case, let's measure what I need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then cut off. As Tim would say, the SS, that is not required. So let's measure. Boop. So perfect. Let's cut it off right here. Oop. Oop. 
I always keep it because you never know. Okay, now, one of the things you can do here, and I'll do it now, you can flux it. So I'm going to flux. Okay, you can add. Some solder to it just because you want to let me show it on camera but just because you want to get a good hold okay and then boom what I like to do is I like to go outward into it okay now what I tend to do is this I tend to just kind of heat them up and just hold on I want to get the tip of it in there I like to kind of heat all three pads up. Alright, let's do one first. Okay, I'm not having too much with these tweezers today. Let's see what you know what let's do it like this i was trying to use the tweezers so that you guys can see it better on camera but let's just do the normal of what i would normally do come on I'm on camera right now. I'm trying to. Okay. Now, I just go. Just kind of press it in. But it's playing around with me today. I mean, you really don't need this, but I like to do it. Okay. It's going to be a little off, but let's see. Okay, it's being difficult because I'm trying to work the camera in for you guys. But just for the purpose of getting this done, let's go in there. Bridge this. Like I said, you gotta let it cool down a little bit. You don't wanna. Alright, this always helps. I just gotta make sure they're all bridged. You could use a different iron. There you go. Okay. So. I just like to make sure it's all bridged up. Okay. Take it off. Boop. See? That's what I don't like. It's a little piece sticking out. And I'm anal about this. So let's stick it down. I'm going to bend it in there. There you go. Alright. It's bridging all three. See, we can see it. There you go. 
it's bridging all three let me just move it out I don't like the little things sticking out or anything okay add a little more solder on this end that's because like I said I like to do that and smooth it out there you go so we created our bridge And like I said, it's important to create that bridge so that you can take the full power of the Neo Pixel. Now I'm gonna let it cool down, uh, and then I'm gonna wire mines up. You don't need to see that part uh, because mines is a little complex. Then I need some concentration on it. But just to show you guys, it's nice and cool. How to wire a Golden Harvest V3? Okay. Never, never, ever, ever, ever solder with this chip inside. All right. Until next time.